Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? As you can see, I am in a bookstore. I am going to kind of spontaneously pick up books that I have read and then show them to you guys. It's like a fun way for me to wander the bookstore, bring you guys around. It'll be basically a bunch of really mini reviews crammed into one little video for you guys. It'll be a fun little adventurous bookstore slash recommendations video but uh warning i am incredibly awkward when filming in public and also i happen to pick like the busiest day apparently of the week i think there's like an author presentation happening right here right now for a children's book so there are a bunch of loud and noisy little children <laughs> Let's go, you guys come follow me. I almost walked into this. And here is the young adult section. Da, 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 da. Look at how beautiful it is. Just glorious. Trying to find the first book to show you guys this series. Yeah. So this is the Hush Hush series, and I actually don't see the first book, Hush Hush, right here. I do not like the first book, Hush Hush. I didn't even bother reading the other books because Hush Hush was so unbearable hate giving books low ratings but that's what this video is about I'm giving you guys my honest ratings so I'm gonna give it two stars hush hush is a no no oh the devil you know by Trish Dollar I would give this book three and a half stars I would compare it to kind of that sort of trashy scary movie I really like these kinds of books and I fully through this one because it's such a quick read so yeah I would say I would give it about a 3.5 stars. It's a solid read. The Shallow Graves by Jennifer Donnelly. This book definitely gets 5 out of 5 stars. If I could, I would give it 10 stars. It's a historical fiction. Really, really good. It's a murder mystery. Another book by Jennifer Donnelly, Revolution. Another 5 out of 5 stars historical fiction book. Go read all of Jennifer Donnelly's books. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. Caravel by Stephanie Barber. I just read and I still have to film my review on it, but this book gets a billion stars. This, I think, is my favorite read of 2017 so far. Beautiful Creatures by Ken Garcia and Margaret Stoll. It's a pretty popular book, but I didn't like it. I'm going to give this book three stars. The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. This book has been showing up a lot lately on my channel for some reason. Once you get into that exciting part of this book, you are so sucked in and you can't put it down. So four to five stars. The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. Mm, maybe a 3.75. This is really fun. I'm really enjoying this. Ooh, the Lux series by Anna Godberson. I read it when I was probably too young to even be reading this. I don't remember it being very good. I don't think I liked it at all. So I'm going to give this book 2.5. Five stars. Serafina by Rachel Hartman. I read this book and I was really bummed because I thought I would really like it. It like had a dragon on it but unfortunately I just really personally couldn't get into this book. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars and I can recognize it was really well done but just not for me. Rumble of the Sands by Alan Hamilton. I forget what rating I gave this when I finished it after I had more time to think about it. I think I actually want to give it a little bit of a lower rating. This book was good, but it wasn't like amazing, fantastic compared to all the other fantasies I've read. I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5 stars. A Rebel Bell by, I forget the author, Rachel Hawkins. Rebel Bell I read a long time ago. I think that I gave this book... 3.75 out of 5 stars. The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. Alright, I feel bad. I'm actually going to give this a low rating. I'm going to give it like 2.5 out of 5 stars. But I don't really feel fair rating this book because it's just so the opposite of the kind of books that I read. Let It Snow by John Green, Marie Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. This is a great book to read during Christmas time. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 stars. It just really put me in that Christmas mood and I love reading Christmas books during Christmas time. We read by Kirsten here. I 
read this book a really long time ago, so I don't even remember what I rated it. I gave it like a 3.75 and 5 stars. If you like time travel, then this is the book for you. Go check it out. Let's look at what we have here. So I see The Scorpion Rules by Erin Bow. I read this not that long ago, actually, and I have to say I didn't really enjoy it that much. It is a dystopian read, and I actually did not finish this book because I thought it was weird. Okay, I see a book. Witch Hunter by Virginia Boker. I give this book 5 out of 5 stars. I actually was disappointed in this book. I thought it was going to be really good. I started it and liked how it began, but then I feel like it kind of went downhill a little bit. I'm going to give this book 3 out of 5 stars. Ooh, yes. Alright, The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. Kelly Armstrong is a favorite author of mine. This is definitely a 5 star read. So we have Forest of Ruin here. Forest of Ruin by Kelly Armstrong here, and this is actually the sequel to uh, Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong. I don't see the first book here, otherwise I would be showing you the first book, but I'll just settle for this one and let you guys know that this is also a five-star read by Kelly Armstrong. So really just go and check out this series as well as the Summoning series because both of them are so, so good. Okay. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adia. This is a classic favorite of mine, and I give it five billion stars because it's amazing. And now I have to put it back up, and I can't because I'm too short. Okay. All right, we have Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, something that I talk about a lot on my channel. Definitely at five out of five stars. Red Riding Hood by Catherine Hardwick. I read this book so long ago. It's on my bookshelves, and I always forget about it because I do just feel like it was kind of forgettable. I am going to give this two stars. Also, the movie was weird. I'm going to pick out two here by the same author, A Great and Terrible Beauty and The Diviners. These are both five stars. Go read them. Liva Bray is a queen. So we have The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. I give this book five out of five stars because I, I read it a while ago, but I remember that when I read it, I loved it. And we have Graceling by Kirsten Kashor. I did not like this book. I thought it was weird. I thought the romance was weird. I did not like it. Just the style. It just was one of those situations where I could not connect to this book whatsoever. I give it like two stars. Yeah. Star Touch Queen by Rushani Chakshi. I love this book. I give this book four out of five stars of Fire and Stars by Audrey Coulthurst. I give this book, I think, 3.5 out of 5 stars. The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeco. 3 stars to be generous, maybe less. Obviously The Hunger Games gets 5 stars because it's amazing, so that's that's a given. And what else do we have? Oh, okay, we have Matched by Ali Condal. I just didn't like this book, so 2 stars. Here we have... Okay. So we have Legend by Marie Lu, a really, really good dystopian book. Definitely five out of five stars. We also have The Young Elites by Marie Lu, another great dystopian, five out of five stars. We have all of Sarah J. Mass's books down here. They're obviously all five out of five stars, so I won't even bother with that. Splintered by A.G. Howard, which for me is a five out of five star read. It's based in the world of Alice in Wonderland, and it's so great. A Winter Song by S.J. Jones. This is Five out of five stars for sure. Princess of Thorns by Stacey J. A really, really good book. I would give it four out of five stars. Cool Beauty and Crimson Bound. These are definitely both five star reads. I think I like this one better in case you can't decide. I would recommend reading this one first and then this one. The Uninvited by Sophie Jordan. Maybe 2.75 out of five stars. Switched by Amanda Hawking. This is a really, really good book. I would definitely give this entire series five stars. All right, so I went ahead and just picked a couple books randomly. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater is definitely five stars. It's one of my favorites, actually. And then Red Queen, I would say, is maybe a 3.75 out of five stars. The more time I spent away from this book, the less impressed with it I was. Part of that might be because I also really didn't enjoy the sequel. The Raven Boys, however, is one of my favorite, favorite books, and if you haven't read it, 
please do yourself a favor and pick up this book. So Snow Like Ashes is definitely a five star read. Okay, so I actually have to wrap up today's video because I have to leave the bookstore right now and I also have to talk really quietly because there are some people reading nearby. But real quick, I just grabbed a bunch of random books and I'm going to give the ratings to you just really fast before I wrap things up. So The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, five stars, definitely. The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melissa Salisbury, three stars. Um, the Program by Suzanne Young, five trillion stars. Uh, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, five trillion stars. And The Winner's Curse by Marie Bukowski, five stars, definitely. Into the Dim, I hate to end the video on a negative note, but like 2.5 stars. I was not a fan of this book unfortunately. All right, and I'm going to wrap things up because I have to go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this really random video of me just taking you along in the bookstore. It was kind of a spontaneous decision. I was just in the bookstore and then I was like, why not bring you guys along with me and make this into a thing? So that's what I did. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you'd like to see me do this again. So if you guys liked today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I hope that you'll go and have yourselves a fabulous day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!